visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Hey, it's Eagle Runner Bill here. Pulling my, my Craftsman portable generator, just turn the fuel on, turn the generator switch on. The other day I pulled it out and I didn't get enough power to fire up my TV set and receiver. So I'm going to start this up and do a voltage check, see what happened here. It's been a while since I started it, so I'll just pull that start cord real slow and easy five or six times. This way I'll circulate the oil in the crankcase and get everything in there covered with oil so I don't have that cold crank. That's good enough. Let me put it in choke. I don't know what Craftsman did when they made or Briggs and Stratton did when they made this engine because this engine starts every time. It could sit for two years and I'll come out and do that and it'll start right up. Well, I got my multimeter here, the fluke. Got my function select switch and bolts AC. My red meter lead and bolts my black meter lead in the common position. Now let's see what this thing reads. First thing I'm going to check the neutral and the ground. See what I got there. Should have zero. I got .006. I'm going to check the neutral and the ground on the others. It's up going. It's got zero so I'm good there. Now, you know, the small slot is always power. The big slot is your neutral. And I've got 125 volt output, so I'm good there. Let me check from my hot wire to my ground. Should have the same thing. 125 volts. 126.2, I'm good there. So I don't know what it was. Maybe I didn't have it plugged in good check the other receptacle I'm going from hot wire to neutral. Yeah, I read 125 volts. I don't know what happened the other day. Ah, oh, made my extension cord fail. You go from hot wire to ground, same thing. Well, it looks like this thing should be just fine to operate all my equipment. Well, that's the way you check out your output on your generator. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.